So for me, um, post really, really hard training day or, um, or, or really, really hard kind of match, my go-to would probably be a, um, a shake, preferably Cyclone for myself. Um, just because in terms of the calories that you lose, whether you're playing a game or a hard training session is, is crazy. So the first thing I like to do as soon as I get home is to, is to get some nutrients into the body. And especially after a really, really tough game, sometimes it, it is quite difficult to, to have a massive, massive meal, if you see what I'm saying. So the easiest thing is for me is to have a protein shake. It's quick, it's easy. Um, it can be done in a few seconds. Um, and we can just get that, that nutrient straight into the body, you know? So quickly, I'll just make up my shake. I tend to use a Nutribullet, but if I'm in a bit of a rush, um, I'll just crack on and put in the shaker. Some good footy on the TV tonight, so I need to need to make sure I'm, I'm rested and ready to watch that. Happy days. So, um, after a hard training day or a, or a game, I think one of the, well for me, one of the most important things is to actually unwind and relax. Obviously with little Brody here. Um, and I tend to try and not reflect too much on the actual game, um, especially if it's not a good performance because you can tend to beat yourself up and overthink things and, and then that could affect stuff leading up into, into next week. For me, I've just kind of let things be. I've, I've prepared throughout the whole week and, and done everything possible that I know I could have done to, to prepare well. And if the performance didn't go as planned, then that was just literally how it was supposed to be. So I just completely detached myself from the, from the game, whether it's good, bad or ugly, and really trying to spend some quality time at home, whether that's sitting on the sofa, going for long dog walks or um, watching stuff on the TV, because by the time you blink, it's going to be Monday or um, Monday or Sunday and you know we're going to be in a, we're going to be back training preparing for the next game so for me feet up relax sport on and that's just me for me now it's all about recovering recovering my body um, for, for me I've just recovered mentally in terms of just switching off from rugby but before I know it, I'm going to be back into to training and preparing for the next match. So for me, um, I have a, a number of options here. Um, I really pride myself on being self-sufficient and having everything. So um, I've got, you know, my, my ice bath, hot tub, sauna, uh, gym. Um, but for what I want to use today to really recover my body is my oxygen chamber. Um, the oxygen chamber just helps the body recover, especially if you're carrying some big knocks and bruises and obviously when you play in the front row um, you know that tends to happen a lot so I'll probably get in here once every couple of weeks I'll probably stay in here for about an hour to three hours um, and try not to fall asleep in here 